What's up, Reject Nation? It's Greg Alba here. And it's John. Here, we're gonna murder some people on the Orient Express today. Yeah. Uh, before I, we go into this, though, I wanted to give a thank you to the countless people. This past week, something just happened where a shitload of comments came in. And a lot of people are just commenting on my weight loss. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm dude. like, whoa, a lot of them must have lost a lot of weight suddenly <laughs> at one point where everyone started noticing. So I just wanted to say thank you because it keeps me motivated. I got I got a lot more ways to go. I haven't reached my full my final goal yet. Once I reach my final goal, then I'll post my sexy before and after photo. Because right now it's not a sexy after. It's just like impressive, but not <laughs> sexy yet. It's a, it's a before and progress. <laughs> yeah, this is like the middle stage. I, got, I still got a, a waste to go but you guys are really helping me keep motivated and inspiring me to stay on track with uh, my new health habits and to keep exercising so I really appreciate you guys noticing because you know for a couple of years now I've gotten a lot of fat comments so it's great to have a lot of weight loss comments coming now what I need from you is for you guys to tell me how good I would look if I had muscles so that that way I will be motivated to hey work out this more. guy's been weightlifting you know he started off with 7.5 pounds on bicep curls and now he's at 20 on each side yeah. yeah, dude, he's getting stronger. One uh, day I will have an impressive amount of weight. Flex. Let's I am, flex. I'm flex not ready me. to flex. Flex. Yet. Yours is like, that's like, this I'm is... Rocket and you're Groot. No, there's John <laughs> Flickster, Tyro Magnus, and then a bunch more people, and then this. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's, it's almost. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, Tone. No, don't be shy. Anyway, I murder, shy. murder on the Orient Express. Agatha Christie writing that sick murder mystery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and we're going to be doing a page in the day shout out for none other than Gareth Hood today. Gareth! Uh oh. Something tells me this trailer is going to get a lot more fun. <laughs> Xenomorphs on the train. You know, there is something about that tangle of strangers pressed together for days with nothing in common but the need to go from one place to another and never see each other again. See? Mordecai too? Oh my. This is like a fun Christmas film. I see Evil on this train. A passenger has died. Got him after all. But you assume he was killed? No, 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 not. Well, he was in perfectly good health. He, he had his enemies. Indeed, he was murdered. Good God, a murder here. God rest his soul. Someone was rummaging around my cabin in the middle of the night. No one would listen to me. If there was a murder, what is going on? Then there was a murderer. The murderer is with us. And every one of you is a suspect. And who are you? <laughs> My name is Hercule Poirot, and I'm probably the greatest detective in the world. What is this damn song doing in the trailer? <laughs> is this... <laughs> wow, that's a cast. All the Academy Award nominees and then these guys. Yeah. Oh no, Daisy Ridley. I, I, I didn't recognize her there. Oh wow. Interesting. Who is Johnny Depp supposed to be? No. Well, they didn't spend any time on him. Is he the one who did? I mean, that's why the IMDb is here. Ratchet. Maybe we should read the book. And Clank. Something tells me it's a very long book though. Might have a hard time sitting through. Okay. I mean, we read some Agatha Christie in high school and it wasn't too thick. I really like the trailer. Speaking of exercising, one of my go-to songs lately is the song Believer by Imagine Dragons. What the hell is it doing what in this is trailer? <laughs> I, we gotta get the millennials involved, man. What I the hell is it yeah, doing in there? Man. Just selling <laughs> I mean, a movie. That, that, was, I, that did not fit whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what kind of... <laughs> the song this, doesn't even match at all. Not even the lyrics. Does, does Keith Branagh know you did this? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> is he aware of that? Just, something doesn't feel right here. I mean, I know Imagine Dragons are in like trailers now. Uh, like their songs are in a lot of trailers these days. I guess. I I just don't. I feel like that somebody was, fell asleep. That's setting part of this I, whole trailer. I feel like there's gonna be some kind of sci-fi action movie that's gonna end up with like a really classical music track because somebody just fell asleep and mixed them up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something yeah. that should have gotten Believer is is gonna be without it. I've seen a few of Kenneth Branagh's films that he's directed. Yeah, starred in like Wild Wild West, it's a classic performance. Love what? you are that, yellow. That's, that's <laughs> Kevin Klein, my darling. No, no, Kenneth Brown is the villain. Oh, he's the villain. He's he's loveless. <laughs> yeah. under all that makeup. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Kevin Klein plays President Grant, and the guy Artemis Gordon. Artemis Gordon. Who <laughs> is Yeah, I've seen a few of his films. I've seen the Frankenstein movie he did. Yeah, Frankenstein, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, of course, like Thor. I've seen some of Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit. Um, Woo! And uh, I've seen some of Cinderella as well. He does films that are good. He's done on some pretty good films. And I really like Thor. Cinderella, I heard, was really good. This one, though, from looking at images of the trailer, seems like he gets to hone in more on a Kenneth Branagh style that he might actually have. Because he's done like 20 films or something, so this might yeah. be a defining, I and mean, he might actually have a defining style with this film. <laughs> because that shot, I really love that tracking shot where it's going around and you're seeing the whole yeah. cast of suspects. That was a really, really cool shot, and Definitely. I don't, I don't think, I don't think the movie will, itself will have like the text appear yeah. like, saying who they are. But, but it's that, still intriguing as that hell. That title gag is a, is like a trailer staple. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. I, I definitely am excited to see what he does with this because Kenneth, Kenneth Branagh. My experience with his directing is more on the Shakespeare side. It's like I saw Much Ado yeah. and I saw Hamlet and all Macbeth, those things. Yeah. I know he seems to like to stay in the literary environment. You know, most of his things are based on texts of some kind. Because you don't have a like the stage context of Shakespeare, mm -hmm. so I feel like he can just kind of frame it how he wants to. And like yeah. Thor was a, I thought a good example of like cool shots and yeah. stuff. So this seems like you, you're definitely gonna dial back on the thrills, but it's gonna up the tension. And I'm excited to see him do a murder mystery. Yeah, like that's. I th feel like there might be more freedom of style here that he has access to. Whereas, yeah. you know, Thor, you still are under the guidelines of the MCU, all the people, you know, the head of MCU. And then you have uh, Cinderella, which is Fall the Cartoon. There's an original film by Sidley Lumet, and then that was based on a book. So this would be a, another adaptation of that same uh, source material. Regardless, though, it seems like there's a much more specific style he has here. I like the production design. The costumes look great. I like films that take place in this era to begin with. And I'm excited to see, uh, I, I feel like Johnny Depp, this this could be a role where he, because Johnny Depp has become kind of a new De Niro for me, <laughs> where every once in a while, oh, Johnny Depp's committing and doing a great job again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This like, could well, be one of the bad one. ones, and then, oh, a great one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I feel like, I mean, with a huge cast like this, I'm hoping he brings his A-game, because I expect nothing less of the rest of the actors to bring their A-game, especially when Kenneth Branagh is an actor's director. He is himself a wonderful actor, mm -hmm. so I'm hoping he can still bring a great performance out of Johnny Depp, because Johnny Depp's the, weirdly, he's the one I'm most worried about. Yeah, totally, <laughs> because this is a tremendous ensemble, and, and I, I hope that he's the kind of actor who will at least bring the A-game when everybody else is around yeah, with an yeah. A-game, you know? Johnny Depp is, a, is an odd duck to me, and I'm kind of worried about him now, because, you know, just seems like he's... Struggling. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a couple of people here that he's worked with before. Michelle Pfeiffer, he worked mm -hmm. with in Dark Shadows. Penelope Cruz on Stranger Ties. Doesn't mean he's gonna do a great job, because none of those movies he did a great job in. <laughs> <laughs> the cool thing is, though, um, with a huge cast like this, the thing that I can get most excited for are scenes of dialogue. And it's gonna have plenty of that. Because, you know, whenever I heard Kenneth Branagh doing, like, Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit, or even Thor, and, and Thor I liked a lot. I was like, oh, I heard Kenneth Brown, I wanna see, I wanna see him do a movie where it's, you know, characters interacting with each other, because he's an actor's director. I'm not, yeah. in, I'm not in it for the action when it comes to a Kenneth Branagh film. Yeah, totally. Well, and that's and that's where the Shakespeare stuff, to me, brings yeah, exactly. a lot of hope into this, because he, he does a great job with those, and, and also he's proven he is more than capable of having an assured hand at direction while also being on screen. Yeah, oh, he's and, good at that, yeah. Yeah, and he's also a guy who I think can shoot something that's... This is based on a book, not necessarily a play, but you know, still shoot something that's contained and that's dialogue heavy, but that won't just feel like, oh, you just, you just 
plopped a camera in the middle of a plane. Yeah. You know, like, I feel like he will bring, you know, a cinematic style to this. Yeah. I'm hoping everyone gets a good amount of equal screen time. And especially the big players that we all know. I mean, looking at the like list here. Will, yeah. Johnny Depp, Michelle Pfeiffer, Penelope Cruz, Daisy Ridley, Josh Gad, Willem Dafoe, Kenneth Branagh himself, Judy Dench, um... A lot of other actors who I'm not familiar with, yeah, but, yeah. but at least like the huge actor list, I'm hoping a lot of them get a lot of interplay throughout the film. It's an exciting ensemble, and these are all people like I'm excited yeah. to see them all, just for their characters, but also how they interact with each other yeah. and where the mystery goes, because I'm not very familiar with the course of this story. Yeah. Just having the man himself play Poirot, I mean, that's that's cool. Yeah. He's the, a guy who can fill those shoes, because that's, that's a beloved character, you know? Mm -hmm. that's, and I, I haven't seen Sidney the Maze version, obviously haven't read the book, so I'm wondering, though, for it being a murder mystery is this one going to change anything from the source material to like to who the murderer is is it going to or from Cindy LeMay's version because the mystery has been out there for so for so many years now will it upset fans if you if you huh. change it all spoiler but I'm thinking like this is another adaptation you can't just give us the same plot turns the same reveals now I feel like you have to mix it up and make it a little bit more of your own it's something that I think would have to kind of steer away a little more from a source material since the novel's been out there for ages, and, and certainly the maze version, I don't know if that's completely accurate to the book, but I imagine the main plot points and the reveals are. See, that's something I'm very much wondering about, actually. I'm interested to know how they decided that, that this, now's the time to go back and revisit Agatha Christie again, you know? Yeah. Like, it's not something that the young people are super duper familiar with. That's why we got Believer by yeah. Imagine Dragons and in the trailer. I have to almost <laughs> imagine that that's probably what happened. Yeah. People were going, who is, what is a Poirot? What? Like, yeah. why do I care about this train? Yeah, that's probably the biggest uh, thing I'm wondering because I can see why they wouldn't change it because it's not just a common name that everyone yeah. knows anymore. But at the same time, they do that. Yeah. They do change things around. And if we are doing this for a second time on the big screen, I do kind of agree that, yeah, you'll you'll have to change it at least somewhat so that it's not just the Psycho remake but yeah. for a book adaptation. <laughs> Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. Or just with a shinier coat on. Yeah, I mean, it looks colorful, the production looks great, and yeah. uh, the cast gets me excited, so... Yeah, I've yeah. got faith in this. And and the the, the the score by Imagine Dragons, I think, is going to be oh, Yeah, I hope they use it throughout. Whole movie. <laughs> yeah. Whole movie. <laughs> I hope they score the entire movie, yeah. actually. Yeah. 20 original songs <laughs> just for this. <laughs> Millennials, that's where the that money's at. It's holiday season, we gotta get the families on board. I think the only other thing this this trailer needed was from the director of Thor yeah. and Cinderella. <laughs> All right, well thanks for recommending that trailer our way. You can subscribe to The Real Rejects, click that notification bell, dat John Humphrey on Twitter That's and me. Instagram. And patron of the day shout out. Before I go into this, a uh, big thank you to everyone who has been contributing to our Patreon. Yeah. We've been doing a lot of exclusive perks on there, a lot Tons. of exclusive videos. Uh, different kind of like a lot of random mini vlogs on there. A lot of mini vlogs. <laughs> Stories, me singing on rock band. <laughs> like just a bunch of random stuff on there. But yeah. it's been a blast and I'm loving interacting with the community. We both are. Back to our shout out. Gareth Hood. Gareth Hood. Gareth Hood. I don't want to reveal the exact number he's contributed because I don't want to make anyone jelly about the guy. But yeah. boy, he has contributed way more he than is... we could have ever asked for. He is the GOAT. Yeah. And I know we make our shout outs a little more sarcastic. But I want to make a sincere shout out to this man. I mean, he's from London, but he's like living in the Middle East right now. And when we did a Google Hangout, he chimed in at like 4 o'clock in the morning just to talk with us. This guy's a, a dedicated father, a hard worker, businessman, and uh, he's also a nerd. Uh, I really enjoy talking with the yeah, guy. Yeah, he's a cool guy. And in all sincerity, everyone we talk to is actually they're all really cool. Yeah, everyone is. and uh, in None all of you suck. None of you suck, especially Gareth Hood. Especially Gareth Hood. Um, who I, I, I love his beard, and I, you know, in all sincerity, Gareth, I would love to uh, try some anal pleasure with you. No jokes. This is a sincere shout out. Go inside uh, your hood, if you know what I mean. I mean, if you must know what I mean, if I brought up what it was. Prior. Um. <laughs> I, I tried to pick that one up. I got caught. You know, hood. There, there, there are anatomical parts referred to as that. I just don't think gents have them. Oh, um, 
I see what you're Hopefully doing. Hopefully YouTube censors don't stay till the end of the video. <laughs> if they're Whatever, this watching. 20th Century Fox, this video's not monetized. Oh, it yeah. Doesn't matter. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Doesn't matter. Thanks, Fox. <laughs>